Cunningham, the pass underneath the Hughes. She's going to take a shot off the glass. No good. Gets her own rebound. Shoots it up. Gets it in. Well, Lebanon's getting beat on the offensive backboard now, or their defensive board. Yeah, they're sitting on their hands. Yeah, they're not, not really getting after the rebounds. Simonis taking it a little slower this time, crossing the timeline. It's over to Hallams on the left. Hallams back to Simonis up top. Kirkland now on the right side. Ball of overhead looking for somebody to go to. Gets it to a wide open Wilbert. They're going to call a block against Lebanon. On Simona. Thompson, I believe. Is it? Let's see. Uh, I thought he said 11. Nope, 33. That is two on Thompson. She becomes the first Lebanon doubleette with more than one foul. As a matter of fact, that's just the fourth team foul on the doublets this game. For Blackman, Carter sits down and Katera Locke returning. She, uh, Patterson tried to pass it over to Locke and just Simonis batted it right out of there. So Locke will take it on the sideline. Looking for somebody to pass it to. Gets it over to Cunningham. Threw it in front of her. It's going to be trying to be taken by Kirkland, but it's going to go out of bounds and belong to, to Lebanon. Good defense by Kristen Kirkland. Slapped that ball into the feet of the opposing player, and they kick it out of bounds. Fundamentals working well. Kirkland lobs it up. Wilbert, or rather, Simonis gets it. Over to Wilbert at the top of the key. Her three-point shot is nailed. 32-25. Devilettes back out to a seven-point lead just when things started looking a little scary. Two threes tonight by Amanda Wilbert. Lebanon showing their prominence outside the arc. Cunningham, she takes a long three. It's going to be off, and we've got a push foul against Hicks that sent Megan Thompson to the floor underneath the basket. And in all honesty, yeah, they're going to say an elbow. It's first on Hicks. Yeah, in all honesty, I, I didn't see that. I just saw Thompson slip, <laughs> but we'll take it. Wilbert underneath the basket. Gets it into Kirkland. Full court press from Blackman. They want to try to get that 10 second violation against Levin, or they'll just steal it away, just like Locke did. Locke at the top of the key, gets it to Cunningham. Back over to Locke on the right side. Locke got to lob it under to Hicks, partially blocked, but Hicks gets it. Throws it off the feet of one of her teammates. Taken by Kristen Kirkland. A one-on-one -on -one break. Her shot is up and good. 34-25. Devilettes out to their biggest lead of the night. They lead by nine. Cunningham takes it coast to coast. Passes it off to Hughes. The shot off. No good. Rebounded by Lebanon. Kelly Hallam. She's going to lose it underneath the basket. Taken by Locke. And then knocked out of bounds by Amanda Wilbert. So Blackman will get it underneath the bucket. Coming in for Blackman now. Action getting fast and furious under that basket right now. Kristen Jackson coming back in as well as Megan Carter. So the starting five back in for the Blackman Blaze. Jackson on the left side. Looking for somebody to get it to. Gets it over to Carter off the top. Carter working her way over on the left. And a timeout called by Blackman. So we'll take 30 seconds and be right back. 34-25, Devilettes up by nine. Blackman cheerleaders rounding up their performance during the timeout. Four minutes to go, actually 4.06 to be exact, here in this third period of play. Lebanon on top, 34-25. Timeout taking a little bit longer than they normally take, Clyde. Well, it is. I I didn't know these things lasted all night, but evidently they're taking as long as they want. And this one is, now we finally get a horn. 34-25, Double Ups have uh, turned it on a little bit here after they had a little bit of a standstill here in the first part of this quarter and got out rebounded on the defensive backboard a couple of times. But since then, they've uh, they've shut it down in there and, and got a few points and stretched out that lead to nine. Well, if the... Uh the PA is any indication they were just playing the song. You ain't seen nothing yet. Hicks on the left side. To Cunningham. To Carter. Carter going to dribble her way over to the right side. And they're going to call a block against 40-40 for Blackman. I thought that was against Lebanon. But they're going to get Kristen Jackson. That's Jackson's third now. She becomes the first person in a bit of foul trouble here. Simonis crossing the timeline. 
Takes it over on the right side to Kirkland. Kirkland looking for somebody. Over to Simonis on the right side, far right. Simonis takes a shot, and I don't know where that one was headed, but it went behind the backboard. Well, <laughs> was somebody, it, was evidently it they hit all ball. I thought they'd hit Simonis' arm, but evidently they got all ball. Lebanon will get it out of bounds. Hallam's pass into Wilbert. She's going to be pushed and get one in. Just, just a great shot off the glass. 16 for Wilbert and a chance to make it 17 as she goes to the free throw line. It'd be her first trip to the line tonight. It's up and good. Nails it. 37-25, 12 point lead for the Devilettes. And now they're starting to pull away and I want to knock on wood because you never know what could happen. They're going to get they're going to get Simonis or Cunningham for over the back. I believe Wilbert, but let's wait and see that he makes up his mind here. 53, yeah, he got Wilbert. Her first, team second here in the second half. He must have been looking at something completely different than what I was looking at. Jackson, pass to Hughes. Hughes standing on the foul line, gets it over to Jackson on the right, just inside the arc, hits a two-point shot. 37-27, it's a 10-point lead, and Megan Thompson goes to the floor again. Jackson's first points of the night. Kirkland, a long three-pointer off the back rim, rebounded by Hallams outside the arc, gets it over to Simonis, who's now standing on the big L, gets it to Kirkland on the right side. Kirkland lobs it to Wilbert on the far right. Wilbert back to Hallams near the top of the key, takes the three-point shot off the front rim, rebounded by Wilbert, passing it a long wall all the way across the court to Simonis on the right side. To Kirkland, stepping in front of the arc, taking the th about the 13-foot jumper, gets it in 39-27. Nine for Kirkland. Back out to that 12-point lead are the Devilettes. Carter on the right side. Bounce pass underneath to Hughes. Hughes looked to me like she stepped on the line. No whistle. Hicks the pass over to Cunningham. Two-point shot is up and good. A 12-foot jumper. Counts 39-29. 2.20 remaining in the third period. 12 or 11 rather for Cunningham. Wilbert up top. Going to take the long three-point shot off the back rim. Rebounded was tipped by uh, Kirkland. She gets it out to Halms. Now Kirkland with it on the left side. Back to Halms up top and over to Simonis on the big L. Simonis. Over to Halms. Halms on the left side. Dribbles. Back to Simonis up top. Simonis to Kirkland. Kirkland standing on the right side. Gets it back to Simonis at the base of the big L. Dribbling. Letting her team get set. She going to take it herself. And backs off, goes back outside the arc. Bounce pass underneath to Thompson, and they're going to call three seconds. Three seconds on Thompson. Allen passed up a couple of open threes down there that you'd like to see her put up, because she's a deadly outside shot. As are most of the Devilettes. I think, I think every one of the starting five has hit at least one three since the season started. Hicks. On the outside, gets it in to Cunningham, who trips and falls. Her head hits the knee of Ashley Simonis. They're going to call a block against somebody. Wilbert, I think. Thompson. Is it Thompson? That's what the scoreboard yeah. reflects. Carter, bounce pass into Cunningham on the right side. Cunningham's shot is up. Off no good, but she's going to be fouled on the shot by Simonis. It's two on Simonis. So Cunningham... Jennifer Cunningham, the only starting senior on this team, the 5'7 guard at the line, takes her first one, it's off. Rolled around the rim and fell out. Well, they're still perfect from the free throw line. They're over two. It's up. Make it one for three. You just jinxed them. Broke that, didn't it? 39-30, Devilette's still on top. Kirkland's pass to Simonis. Simonis over to... Well, now Wilbert has it. Back to Simonis up top into Kirkland on the right side. To Simonis. The long three-point shot from the top of the key. Nailed it. Nailed it. 42-30. One minute to go in the third period. Crossing the timeline is Blackman in a hurry. They sense time is beginning to run out on them as there's only nine minutes of basketball left to be played. Carter takes a four-foot jumper. It's up and good. 42-32. 50 seconds remaining in the third period. Wilbert. Getting it to Hallams on, uh, just across the half-court line. We got a full-court press from Blackman. Simonis standing on the big L. 
Passing it all the way over to Kirkland on the left side. The long three-point shot is airballed and rebounded by Carter. Crossing the half-court line is Blackman. Jackson on the right side. Passing it underneath to Hicks in the lane. Hicks over to Hughes, who almost lost it. Gets it back out to Carter. Carter on the right, on the left side, rather, and trying to make her way underneath. Can't get it. Gets it out to Jackson on the outside. Hits a two-point shot. Apparently, again, had her foot on the line. That's the second time she's been caught tonight. With a one, if she'd have been an inch farther back, it would have been for three. The quarter will expire. Lebanon leading 42-34 after three quarters of play. We'll be back in 30 seconds. We got a quarter to go. The Devilettes lead at 42-34. Eight minutes to play here before we get to the boys' battle tonight. And the Devilettes trying to run their record to five and two, or five and one, and even it up at one and one in district play. So and the Blue Devils will be trying to do likewise in the second game, yes. Not as many uh, folks here tonight as we saw last Friday night, but still an impressive showing from the Blue Devils student body. Well, it is, and that's good because uh, you're seeing a lot more students here than, than we've seen in the past years. And, and they're all and the way up really into the good. upper deck here. So uh, one of the reasons probably tonight that the crowd down a little bit is, is because of the inclement weather outside. Nasty weather, yeah. Lebanon will have the basketball at side court under our position here at half court as we open fourth quarter action. And again, here's Zach. Well, Hutto's Army making their way in. A lot of blue coming in through the doors as we begin the fourth quarter. Simonis on the left side to Hallams. Hallams going to dribble it around, gets it to Shante Steven, who's back in the game. She gets it over to Simonis on the right side. Long pass, partially blocked, but Hallams is going to come up with it nonetheless. She gets, gets it back to Simonis at the top of the big L. Simonis to Steven. Steven dribbling, dribbling, gets it to Thompson just outside, or just inside the arc, I should say, for two. 44-34. Devil, let's go back on top by 10. Eight for Thompson now in the ball game. Cunningham crossing the timeline for Blackman. Makes her, gets her pass over to Jackson. Jackson to Hicks. The 13-foot jumper is up and good. 40. Well, everybody, everybody's hitting now. Sure are. 44-36, an eight-point lead for the Devilettes. Seven minutes to go in this ball game, at least in regulation. Anything can happen. This is a big one. Simona standing on the big L, dribbling, bouncing it, or should say not bounce passing it, passing it over to Hallams. Thompson now has it on the free throw line. She gets it underneath the Wilbur. It's going to be off and rebounded by Hicks. Cunningham brings it across the timeline now for the Blackman Blaze. The long pass underneath the Hughes. She puts it up and in, and the lead is cut to six, 44-38. Shante Steven on the right side. Steven, bounce pass underneath to Thompson. Thompson back out to Wilbur, who almost took a three-point shot. Instead gets it back out to Steven on the right side. Slip, managed to keep a dribble. Gets it back to Simonis up top. Simonis now standing on the big L. Long three-point shot. That was unexpected. She doesn't nail it. Rebounded by Hicks. 44-38, 6-10 to go in this one. Hicks at the top of the key. Passing it over to Hughes. Hughes underneath the basket, up and off the glass. Going to be rebounded by Carter, and they're going to call a foul against the Devilettes. Uh, it should have been one against Carter on the beginning because she went right over the back and got that rebound and got away with it. Megan Thompson called for the foul, and they're going to bring in Kirkland, and Coach Allen wants 30 seconds, and so do we. We'll be back in 30. 438, Blue Devilettes leading the Blackman Lady Blaze. Blackman, who made the trek up Highway 231 to be with us here tonight, brought a royal crown. Cheerleaders hung some banners up. They've been performing for their fans. Carter going to the line. Her first shot is going to be up and good. 